Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And we're here to look into grounding systems and in particular the noise that is on grounding systems. And most electrical and electronic engineers and audio engineers know that ground currents can cause significant problems with electrical and electronic equipment. And we're going to demonstrate that effect. So what we're actually looking at right now is we have this trough of soil. It has a copper electrode here, a copper electrode here. And this electrode right here is connected to the home electrical grounding system. This electrode here connects through this cable into the garden electrode that I have. It's not electrified and it's far away from the electrical system. So what we're going to do, our current path currently is from the house AC electrical system through the soil, through this cable, past the radio and into the garden electrode. So there's actually current flowing in the circuit right now and it's very low. It's about uh, two to three milliamps of AC current is flowing through this trough right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the standard AM radio, it's tuned into a radio station, and we're going to see how that affects reception on the radio station as to whether we pass current through this cable or whether we short it through some of these objects. And we're going to do three things. We're going to pass the current through this battery, we're going to pass it through this capacitor, and we're going to directly short it to the garden electrode. I'm going to see how that affects radio reception. As you can see right now, we have a stable AC voltage. It's 0.128. Keep an eye on that. And as we short it out, you'll see the voltage changing. So let's start the experiment and let's see what we find. So we've got very good radio reception right now. So let's see what happens when we short it to the battery. So we can see our voltage has gone to almost zero and we've lost our radio reception. So the, the current is now coming down here through to the garden electrodes bypassing the circuit and it's had a significant effect on our radio reception. So our radio reception has now come back. So let's see what happens when we connect to the capacitor. So we can see that we've kept our AC voltage, but we've lost our radio signal. And what's happening is the 50 hertz AC is still passing through the circuit but the high frequency is passing through here and bypassing the radio and that's why we've lost our radio reception. So our radio reception is now back. So let's see what happens when we directly short the circuit. So we've lost our radio reception and we've also lost our AC voltage. So you can see that these ground currents can actually interfere a lot with anything that can pick up on the ground current. And it is a current effect, it's not a voltage effect. So when these ground currents start flowing past systems, they start coupling into those systems. And I'm going to take off this probe and we'll see our radio station come back. So ground currents are a pretty big issue in electrical and electronic engineering and uh, one of the things I'm currently studying is how these ground currents actually interact with the biological system. And I'm finding some very interesting stuff and I just wanted to get a handle on how these ground currents work in an electrical circuit and that's what this demonstration was for. I hope that you enjoyed this demonstration and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.